We're going to meet the monkey, mouse and lizard that make up the three parts of your brain. Raise your hand, close your thumb in, bring your fingers down. This is a model of your brain. So if this is your head, over the top is your skull. The face and the eyes are here at the front, looking forward. All around is the wrinkly brain. The brain stem is at the bottom here, the base of the skull here, and your arm is your spine. There are three main parts to your brain. Over the top is your cortex. This is in all humans and primates, so we'll call it the monkey part. This part, just behind your forehead, is called the prefrontal cortex, and it's the part that is responsible for logic, reasoning and thinking. Let's look inside. Opening it up like this, we're going to see the thumb area and down here the palm. These two areas work together. The thumb represents the limbic system, which is the mammalian part of your brain. We'll call it the mouse part. This is the emotions or feeling system and it controls when you're feeling scared or really angry or upset. Sometimes these emotions are so strong you feel out of control and can't think straight. The palm is your brain stem. This part keeps your basic functions going. It's known as the reptilian part of your brain as it's the same in reptiles and goes back as far as prehistoric dinosaurs. We'll call it the lizard part. The brain stem makes sure your lungs carry on breathing, your heart keeps beating and all your body systems still work even though you are not thinking about them. It can keep everything going even if you suffer severe brain damage. Its job is to keep you alive and safe. It's the part that makes you instinctively pull your hand away from a fire, if that's what's needed. So how do the monkey, the mouse and the lizard work together? Most of the time, these three parts work great together. But let's look at what happens when you feel under threat. The thumb and the palm or the limbic system and the brainstem, are designed to save you from a major threat to your life, like a prowling hungry tiger. The mouse and the lizard will now work together to save your life. They will save you from a threat of danger. They send out a warning signal. So now your heart starts beating faster and your breathing changes to be fast and shallow and your muscles tense up. Now you're ready to run, or to fight, or to hide, to save your life. It's called the fight, flight, or freeze response. This is essential when you are faced with these major dangers. But it's a problem when you are, say, in a classroom, or at home with your brothers and sisters, and maybe someone says something that upsets you, or they criticise you or ask why your homework isn't handed in. And whoosh! Your brain goes, danger, danger, and sends out the warning. These systems, the limbic system and the brain stem, the mouse and the lizard, take over to prepare you for the attack. And you flip your lid. The monkey part, the cortex, loses its connection. So now it's just the mouse and lizard running the show. The thumb, palm, part of your brain is now in control and you lose the connection with this logical, thinking, reasoning part, the monkey part, represented by your fingers. So what can you do to get this thinking part back in control again? There's lots of things you can do and lots of people have different ideas on how to pause. One thing is to remember to breathe slowly, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe into your belly, relax your shoulders, your arms, your legs, your body. Taking a moment to breathe and to calm down means you start to take control of your survival system, 
the mouse and lizard parts of your brain. And gradually this will help you get your thinking brain back. This is important. When you're in that zone where you aren't quite in control and you can't quite think straight, you could be in danger of making things worse. And if your friend or sibling is in that zone, you'll need to wait a short time if you want to talk to them about something. So just take a breath and pause. And then maybe the tiger looks just a little less threatening.